Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to AppSex Richer School. This is your English language and literature class of for class 6. Today the textbook that we'll be using for this lecture is English Ahead Student Book 1 and Workbook 1. Textbook pages will be 63 to 65 and then workbook pages will be 38 to 41. The main lesson and the topic will be Unit number 5 Animal Word Habitat urban animals and national animals and then resources that we'll be using is textbook workbook pen paper and internet the main introduction and the summary of the lesson is that we'll be talk uh, we'll be talking about um, animals the different types of animals first we'll talk about the habitats and then urban animals and the national animals animals live in different type of types of habitats like coral reefs Coral regions, rainforest, mangrove swamps, grasslands, mountains, and deserts. We share our planet with other creatures, and these habitats are home to the diverse life forms. So here we'll we'll talk about the different types of habitats and how we share our planet with other creatures with these animals. The main objectives of this lesson is that at the end of this lesson the student will be able to discuss about any uh, animals habitat and survival and then they also will be able to talk about creatures in our cities and answer the given question after reading the passage english language main topics that will be we will be discussing uh, are vocabulary to reading urban animals and then listening the first thing that comes to your mind is what is habitat Habitat is a natural home or environment of an animal, plant, or other organisms. It is a natural home or environment where some where some creature is living. These are the some different types of habitats that you can see on your screen. The first is desert. It's it's a sort of habitat where some animals live. Can you specifically uh, tell me and uh, think about it? What, what sort of animals we are um, living in this so, uh, de in this desert? Yes, camel. Yes, camel live in deserts. Then domestic domestic habitat. We humans we live in this domestic habitat. Then farms, forest, polar regions, oceans, savannas, tropical rainforest wetlands so these are the main different types of habitats where some species some natural organisms they live and they adopt to those conditions so uh, in english i had story in book one unit number five if you open uh, that chapter animal word text reading page number 63 then you'll get to know about the eight reasons that why earth is so beautiful Okay. then um, these are the some points that are given there earth is so beautiful because of coral, coral reefs coral regions mangrove forests grasslands mountains deserts oceans so these are the some bounties and the beauties of the nature that 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 are making our earth our life so beautiful as uh, if we if we talk about our, our uh, domestic uh, habitat when we get um, when we when we are uh, uh, when we want to enjoy something right so where do we go we want to go to some forest to some new place to some new habitat where we can enjoy our life where we we, we don't feel bored right okay how do animals live how do animals live in these sort of habitats our planets provide different kinds of habitat in these habitats animals can survive because they adopt to the conditions how they adopt to the conditions uh, as i've given you the example of a camels so camels they live in hot dry climates where there is not much water and food so how do they adopt to those conditions um, and you must have read that camels can can it can drink much water and can and can store as well so at those times when he can't eat when he can't uh, drink so much water he used that stored water for for the survival 
all right so these are the uh, different types of habitats which animals adopt okay so these are the some critical thinking questions like what habitat are there in our country so what um, think about this question like what sort of habitats we have in our country think do we have forest do we have deserts do we have uh, lakes do we have um, farms think about it which one have you visited which is the greatest threat that animals face in these habitats like those animals who are give, who are living in forest and the people they are cutting forest they are cutting trees so isn't it greatest threat that animals are facing nowadays so the written work that you will be doing is exercise number one write the missing letters to make words related to habitat and then choose and circle the correct answers and then match the habitat to the animals think of one more animal for each habitat in exercise number three and then write your answers in the spaces provided to the workbook the next topic is urban animals these are the two pictures that you can see on your screen of uh, urban animals raccoons and falcons english ahead student book one year number five english animal world workbook page number 38 and 39 you can see this topic urban animals urban animals creatures in our cities the urban animals these are the creatures that live in our cities animals like alligators and raccoons can be found in some cities so animals that are living that have choosed their habitats near us near uh, near the cities in the cities these are called as urban animals many north american species have specifically adapted to urban environment and are thriving typically typical examples include coyotes the top predator of such reasons other common urban animals include red foxes gray foxes bobcats so these are the examples of some urban animals that are living in the cities so task two is read the magazine or article creatures in our cities what is unusual about these animals why is it that some animals prefer to live in live in or near cities you may have to seek the help of your of an adult to find the answer of this question and then here comes the task three task three you can find this on uh, student book page number 65 it's about national animals you have to listen to the audio that is uh, track 5.6 the main research work but before uh, going to the research work let me tell you that this uh, the animals that you can see in this picture is the national animal of pakistan mark 4 and it has uh, its own specialities that you have to read about think about national animals why are they called that why are national animals are called as national and what is their speciality to be called as national so think about it this is the research work does every country have a national national animal if every country has national animal then you can find about three to four countries that uh, what national animal they are having do you know the national animal of our country I've, I've told you yes Pakistan also has a national flower as well can you name it yes you have to find it this is research work I'm not gonna tell you and the exercise number one just look at photographs and name the animals did you know all the names read and listen to the audio then complete the fact files in the student book one and listen to the track to get more new knowledge and the one more research work is use the internet to find about the uh, national animals of Pakistan Turkey and China key fact files to include information so when you'll be searching about the national animals you have to search about the name of animal national animal of which country special abilities or specialities of that country that's why it is famous in that country habitat in which habitat that animal is living and then food what sort of food that animal like and then the brief uh, physical description how does it look like so this was all about today's lecture hope you will find it so interesting 
uh, i hope you'll complete all your tasks and let me know about your written work and other theory thank you allah hafiz